Okay, hi. This is the M Power Pad. Uh, it's an all-in-one solar charger device. Uh, what you can see here is the solar charger. It's sized to 4 watts, so it provides substantial power. Um, what this allows you to do is to be able to charge the batteries under the sun in less than 6 hours of sunlight. So once you get the device fully charged, all you have to do is turn it around and you see it automatically turns on. I did not have to press any buttons or switches. Uh, that's the magic of the accelerometer that we have inside there. Uh, we call this a gesture-based user interface because all you have to do is tilt the device and you'll be able to select the functions. You see the LDD going around uh, while I do that. So what are the various functions? Um, so there are a couple of uh, different functions. The reason we call it all-in-one is because it's got um, two radios inside, the FM radio and AM radio. It's got a uh, mosquito repellent, ultrasonic. It's got a torch light. It's got a reading light. Uh, and uh, you can turn the volume up and down. <laughs> yeah, and the fifth function, thank you, is uh, the ability to charge your devices through these USB ports. These are standard USB ports. There's millions of USB devices. So once you charge this, you can connect to any USB device that uh, you might have your hands on. So how long does it typically t uh, take to charge? Okay, it charges in under the sun. Assuming you have full sunlight, it charges in 6 hours. Uh, alternatively, you could also charge from the AC wall socket. All you have to do is use this little part here and the AC adapter. And then you can charge it from the wall in 2.5 hours or under. Okay. While you're listening to the radio, uh, which I can show here by uh, turning on the device. We turn the radio on just by pointing it to the radio. It plays the frequency and then the sound will come out of the speaker. 1,800 units were snapped up in the first quarter of this year, but are they too small for comfort? And in order to change to the next station, for example, all I have to do is simply tilt the device to the search icon and it goes to the next station. Right, I'll just do that one more time. The next station again. Just as simple as like that. Okay. Now if I like to listen to the music in private, uh, I can use my headphones and just plug in the uh, headphone set here and I can listen to the radio in private. And what about uh, accidental droppage or what if ah. it starts raining? Okay, so that's a really good question because one of the design objectives of this product is to make it as robust as possible. Mm. Right? In fact, the reason why we have the accelerometer versus you might say, why don't you just put switches and make it easy for me to turn device on? The reason for the accelerometer is so that we avoid any mechanical switches so that the device can be as robust as possible. So, Oops. Right. You pick it up and it's still working. Okay, good. Shall I demo that again? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> always gets the impact. <laughs> okay. And uh, you said it's rain resistant as well, right? It's water, water, water it's resistant. resistant so yeah, okay. Water resistant. How much does this uh, sell? What is the retail price? And uh, is it available? Uh, it sells in Singapore for $129 without the AC, $139 without the AC adapter, and $159 with the AC adapter. And where would you get this? Uh, you can get it from Epicenter, you can get it from some of the adventure shops in Singapore, mm -hmm. X21, uh, X Venture 21 and X Boundaries. X Boundaries. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you.